Hello happy people! I'm back with another edition of Nail Therapy Thursday and today I'm going to be showing you all how to repair a broken nail. Um, so as you can see here on my nails I have two nails that actually broke off um, and I want to get them to be this length and so I'm going to show you all how to use builder gel to get them to the length that you want. Um, so yeah because I'm getting ready to do my next set of nails and I just want to make sure the they're all the same length because I actually do not want to cut the rest of my nails. And on this hand too, they're all a pretty good size. This one broke off and I'll be repairing that one as well. So I'm only gonna show you all how I do one on camera. This is actually my first time repairing a nail. So we're all gonna be in this together. And yeah, let me go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll need is some um, nail forms. You'll also need um, cuticle pusher, cuticle stick. Today I'm actually using a nail drill, but you can use a, a, a nail file. Here is my nail file. And I also have my builder drill and some different cuticle bits that I might be using. This is actually my first time using different cuticle bits as well. So the first thing I wanna do is actually shape this particular nail to be how I want it. Um, I'm trying to decide how short I wanna go with the nail. I wanna just uh, shape it here to be, I don't know, fairly even, I guess. I guess it doesn't, I don't want to shape too much of it down because I do still want to, you know, do a set on my, my natural nails next time around too. So I kind of just want it to be just even in its own right. And then I'll just put the builder gel on top of it to give it length. Cause then, cause probably these nails are about ready to get cut anyway, but I do want to do one more set at this length. I just rounded it off, okay? And then next I'm gonna push back my cuticles, like so. I do try to use the cuticle bit to also uh, get some of the dead skin off, but um, like I said, I just bought a, a new bit for my drill and I'm okay with um, letting that do the work for me. So I push my cuticle back here, all right, like so. And then I'm gonna, like I said, it's my first time actually using these drills, these drill bits, but let's see if I can use it to uh, clean my cuticle area. Okay, I just have it on the lowest setting. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go through and just kind of clean my cuticle area. Okay. And I'm really gentle. I'm I'm not really applying any pressure at all here. Okay, seems to be working pretty well here. Yeah, I like this. Cool. And I'm really wanting to focus it on my skin just to get whatever dead cuticles here to come up naturally to come off. Okay. All right, my little manicure brush. Get rid of any dust. I'm actually curious to use this bit here to clean off the dust. I just want to see how this works because it's in the kit, so I just want to know. So let's see. Okay, yeah, that's nice. So you just use that to kind of clean up the dust around the cuticle area, which is pretty cool. Nice, it cleans up everything, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rough up the nail bed. A little nervous using these. Uh, no, that doesn't look like the right bit to use. This one doesn't either. Okay, yeah, all of these look like they are going to jack up my nail bed. So, yeah, I think all of these bits are particularly for using some type of nail enhancement. This one might be gentle enough for my nail bed, but I actually don't want to risk it. So, when they came with the actual file, and it's supposed to be like a sanding band. This is the bit for the sanding band. Rough up the surface of my nail here. Okay. Okay, cool. It's a little more high powered than what I'm used to. But definitely scratch the surface, so that's what I'm looking for here. I mean, you really don't even have to do it. Just lightly tap it and I'm done. So that's that. Next, I am going to wipe down the surface of my nail with some alcohol. With some alcohol, which I always like to do here. 
like so like that. I'm gonna just wipe it off. I feel like that drill might have been a little too rough on my nail. Um, and I did have it on the lowest speed, so. But it has, it buffed up the surface though, so that's, that's a good sign. I think it doesn't feel like I got too far. Just be careful with the e-file, you all. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my uh, nail form. This is my first time applying a nail form as well. But I've watched a lot of videos, so let's see if I know what I'm doing here. And it sounds like you're supposed to try to get it um, flush with the nail, the natural nail here. Let's see. So something like this, maybe. Let's see a little bit of lint. Okay. So maybe like this. Okay. And then I think I'm supposed to press like that. Okay. So I feel like that's pretty even, or as even as it can be to the nail. Okay. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Builder Gel and go ahead and try to build my nail up. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this as close as I can so y'all can see me work. And I'm using this Builder Gel from Amelie. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just take a little bit of the gel here. And I really want to focus on the tip and just kind of building that extra length here. a good length here and then I want to just kind of get a little bit on the base of the nail here which I probably should have did first but just wanting to you know figure this stuff out okay so like that and then I'm gonna just hold it upside down for 10 seconds and then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds okay yeah I think that worked you guys it still feels a little bit un- oh, I know, that's the sticky layer. I'm actually going to go ahead and wipe off that sticky layer. Okay, yeah. Remove the nail form from the nail. Let's see if y'all can see this here. Like so. I think you're just supposed to squeeze either side. Wow. Yeah, that actually worked. Look at that. Huh. Well, I'll be. This still feels pretty soft. I'm going to go ahead and cure this for another minute just to make sure um, everything's nice and set. Go ahead and cure it for another 30 seconds. And honestly, you guys, it does feel nice and sturdy. So I'm going to go ahead and file it and shape it to my liking. buffing and shaping the nail and I must say you all I'm pretty impressed with this like I'm shocked at how like natural it looks um, I did end up using my e-file just to kind of shape down some of the bulk but I feel like this looks really really good especially this side right like I mean it looks like my nail there but I think on this side I might have missed a spot no actually this side I'm sorry this is the good side but I feel like on this side right here I might have missed the spot of getting the builder gel on not sure if y'all can see that or not but I'm not going to worry about it too much because when I remove this set I am going to um, remove everything and so I know that the dip powder will kind of cover that that up I'm going to put dip on next but yeah I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial of how to um, repair a broken nail I'm going to go through and do this one off camera but then I'll go ahead and apply my next set so yeah I hope you all stay tuned for next Thursday where I show you all my next nail design I'll be doing let me know if you have any questions down below I'd be happy to assist in any way that I can this was my first time doing this I'm actually pretty impressed to how easy it was to do 
um and i feel like i'll be doing it more instead of always having to clip my nails it's nice to just kind of repair one or two nails and then be able to kind of carry on and do your next set i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursdays so if you all are here for my nail content definitely come back next thursday and i'll have a new video for you all um but yeah let me know how i did i'll be curious to know if you all think this looks good or not but yeah, um, go ahead and leave some love in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!